Hey guys, what is up? Today we look at Roberto Baggio, the one-man army. You know, some players you think, no, this guy can't lead a team by himself. No, 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 Baggio could. This guy was a machine. Honestly, one of the best cams I've used in this game. This guy, I mean, Italians have some crazy cams. Him and Del Piero, honestly, let me tell you, they cause riots. Four-star, five-star combination, absolutely insane stats. A great pace, great shooting, great passing, great dribbling. Defense, obviously, you're not going to use him as a defender, right? And then he's got not the best physical. But then again, can you catch him? Can you get a hold of him because of his dribbling? Is he going to just slip past you like Messi? Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, because this guy, he's got some very special traits on him. Let's just say that. So what I mean by that is, first of all, I have to say I love this passing. Him and Mertens, honestly, let me tell you, they were insane. They were legit insane. And Baggio's, Baggio was so, so good at delivering free kicks and crosses. It was incredible, man. This guy is insane. Both him and Baggio, Mertens and Baggio have the finesse shot trait. So if you're in the box with them, just finesse. You don't have to shoot. Now, that's something really important right now. With Baggio, I recommend don't power shot because he hasn't got a lot of shot power. Instead, just finesse the ball, and I'm telling you, he's got 99 curve, basically. This card, he's got 99 curve in-game. And there's no way this guy's gonna miss a finesse shot, unless David De Gea, team of the year, pulls off an amazing save. That's what I recommend when using this guy, because his passing is insane, his free kicks are insane. Just, he is a very, very, very complete cam. There he is on the ball. Look at that attack positioning, by the way. So he's always there in the right place at the right time when you need him. The 88 pace is absolutely adequate. It's not too fast. It's not rapid and it's certainly not slow. It's something that is ideal and something relevant to each cam. The thing is with this guy, when he passes the ball, he looks to get into great positions, which is one thing I love about Roberto Baggio. Like I said, he's definitely got the finesse shot trait as he has shown here. There he goes, he's dribbling on the ball. Again, absolutely insane dribbling and that, and that finesse shot there. So like I was saying, his finesse shots are just absolutely insane in this game. And just something that you guys should go for if you buy him. Finesse, finesse, finesse should be in your mind. Passing, like I said, long pass, short pass, absolutely fantastic. And here, he wins a rare header and scores that, which is just absolutely insane. Now, don't worry, I did use him in foot champs. And even in foot champs, he shone out and he was absolutely insane. Now, obviously, his strength is something that is, uh, okay, a little bit worried, that like you will be worried about. But look at that attack positioning. And look at this, absolutely fantastic finesse shot. So this is what I'm talking about. You don't have to be worried about someone just barging you off the ball. Just dribble around them and then just look forward to finessing. So look at that. Instead of going and getting next to that defender, instead what I did was I held back a bit and I just used Baggio for what he does best. He's got insane, insane finesse shot. He's got probably one of the best finesse shots, finesse shots in the game. Now, his, his comrade, Del Piero. Now, Del Piero's got a decent power shot. So you can power shot with Del Piero. But like I said, this Baggio... There he is, just passing it to Mertens there. Fantastic, fantastic pass to Mertens. He doesn't have the best shot power. So like I said, just in case, instead of that, don't just shoot with finesse shot instead, yeah? Like I said, there's not much to say. He's got some insane dribbling. His dribbling's insane. He feels like Messi. His agility is fantastic. He's got great balance. He's got great crossing. I love his crossing, by the way. Look at that cross. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic cross there. Almost scored. And that's what I'm trying to say. This guy is just so, so good at passing, crossing, free kicks, all that sort of stuff. And it really helps because if you play with Kevin De Bruyne, now Kevin De Bruyne isn't the... Look at that finesse shot, by the way. Kevin De Bruyne isn't the best card, in my opinion, in central mid. I'd rather have Pogba. But one thing I love about KDB is his passing. Like, he isn't as tall or dominant as Pogba, but one reason why I love KDB is his passing. And this is what I'm telling you about Baggio right now. Baggio, I love him for one big reason. His passing is so good that even though he's not scoring goals, he'll create goals for you. And that's one thing I love about him, man. He is so good in this game. And look at that. Every time he passes the ball, he gets into very good positions. And there, there you go. Proof right there. And by the way, this is in foot champs. 
fantastic fantastic card one thing as well five stars five star skills four star weak for absolutely brilliant combination to have in a player that's a forward and ideal ideally something that you need you know three star two star you don't really need in foot champs because to be honest with you it's so hard to score already this guy's gonna get a 9.5 out of 10 he's insane 